Last week, we spoke about two new Planet games that seem to be announced in the financial report of Frontier Developments that could potentially be on the table as the social media accounts and website domains are claimed by Frontier. Now, yesterday, Frontier sent this business update ahead of the important December trading period with actually some very interesting information. So if you're curious to hear more, then definitely stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is The Lady Designer and today we are back with a another video about the future of Frontier and the games we love to play. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like and make sure to join the discussion in the comments down below. Now, without further talking, let's dive right into the business update. So this announcement was released on November 27 of this year, providing a business update ahead of the important December trading period. On November 17, Frontier released real-time strategy game Warhammer Age of Sigmar Realms of Ruin on PC via Steam, Epic, Gemba and Haybox and on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. We were pleased to see at launch that Realms of Ruin received mostly positive reviews from game critics and from players. However, sales to date have been lower than expected, with the December trading period approaching and Frontier continuing to evolve and support Realms of Ruin with post-release content including paid DLCs, we expect sales to build over time. Now here comes the more interesting part for us guys, refocusing on creative management simulation games. Frontier's move to diversify its game portfolio during the last five years, including through third-party publishing and new games adjacent genres, has not delivered the anticipating success. As a result, the company has refocused on creative management simulation games, which have delivered stronger and more predictable returns through Frontier's expertise and leadership in the genre. The company's four creative management simulation games Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution, and Jurassic World Evolution 2. This is the first time they actually literally mention that like Jurassic World Evolution and Jurassic World Evolution 2 are part of their creative management simulation games. I actually assumed that they may not be exactly part of that. I, the creative thing is a little bit debatable. So that's why I pretty much assumed that Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo or real creative management simulation games. Uh, these were also management simulation games. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so the company's four creative simulation games continue to perform well and have each achieved over $100 million of gross revenue with a combined total of over 500 million. All four games achieve profitability within one month of release and delivered over 100% of return on investment within 12 months of release. The three games which have been in the market for four years or longer, Planet Coaster, Jurassic World Evolution 1 and Planet Zoo, have all achieved a cumulative return on investment of over 250%. Frontier is therefore pleased to confirm three future creative management simulation games with one releasing in each of the next three financial years, so 25, 26 and 27, meaning financial year 25 will start in summer of 2024. So say at the end of next year, we will see the first game launching if everything is going to plan. Alongside this, we will continue to develop and support our portfolio of existing games, which is, in my opinion, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution 2 maybe, and including Elite Dangerous and F1 Manager franchise and Realms of Ruin. As it says here... It does give me the feeling that they maybe did decide to continue support for all these games and that we may not see the end of Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Planet Zoo next year. I really don't know, guys. It, it could, could still mean that it's only like continued support because there are now maybe three packs still launching for Planet Zoo and next year it will end. But still, it will be so silly because they are so profitable. So I, I can't really imagine that they would end support for a game that is still running pretty well. I'm not sure about Jurassic World Evolution. The numbers on SteamDB for Jurassic World Evolution 2 are pretty low compared to Planet Zoo. But I don't know how well it does on consoles as well. Like, we don't know what the amount of players is. 
Super curious to see what the new Jurassic World Evolution pack is going to do that will launch today, I think it is. Because for what I've heard, it's it's including like a lot of really fan favorite dinosaurs and a lot of really cool stuff. So it's really a, a highly requested pack, if we can call it that way, for Jurassic World Evolution 2. So maybe that is also going to change something about the numbers we are going to see on SteamDB. I'm honestly just super curious to see how that will evolve. And I'm obviously also super curious to hear what Planet Zoo is going to do, because I think maybe today or, or later this week, we will be seeing an announcement for Planet Zoo as well for the new pack. Could maybe be next week if things are delayed, but I'm assuming that is the plan. So yeah, this sentence is definitely super interesting. We will continue to develop and support our portfolio of existing games. Now this is not all, let's continue here. Outlook, following the lower than expected sales performance of Realms of Ruin, the board no longer believes that the current market expectation for fiscal year 24 revenue of around 108 million pounds is likely to be achieved. Updated guidance is for fiscal year 24 revenue in the range of 80 to 95 million with the outcome depending on sales performance across Frontier's game portfolio during the remainder of the fiscal year, including the revenue contributions from new platform releases for existing games. Read that again. Including the revenue contributions from new platform releases for existing games. Jurassic World Evolution is already on consoles. Planet Coaster is already on consoles. Elite Dangerous is on consoles, but they did pull the DLC from consoles. Does that mean that Elite Dangerous will be released again on consoles with the DLC? Or does that mean that Planet Zoo will soon launch on consoles? I have questions. I mean... <sighs> We know from Planet Coaster that it took them like a year after official development ended that then the console version launched. So that was a little bit of what we were assuming as well, that Planet Zoo would be launching after the complete development ends and then like a year after or so. If they did decide to continue development of their existing portfolio and they're going to maybe continue making packs for Planet Zoo for another year, maybe two years, then it could be that the Planet Zoo console launch might be earlier if that is what they're they're planning to do, obviously. Like, we're, we can only assume we, we have no real confirmation that Planet Zoo will end up on consoles, but if the game is doing so well, they might go for that and might launch it on consoles as well, and maybe it will be earlier than that. But also, we are already almost in December and I'm assuming that if they would launch Planet Zoo on consoles, they would probably launch it at the same period of time like Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster was launched in November of 2020 and we're already at the end of November. So could it be that they're going to launch it next month? Updated guidance for fiscal year 24 revenue in the range of with the outcome depend or with the outcome dependent on sales performance and cross frontiers game portfolio during the remainder of the fiscal year including the revenue contributions from new platform releases for existing games this does sound like they will launch a game on consoles in fiscal year 24 which will end say i think it's may next year so does that mean either Elite Dangerous, the DLC will be launched back again on consoles, or will that be Planet Zoo that will be launched on consoles? Oh my gosh, I'm super interested to hear more about this. So the next part is mostly about the fact that they hope that they will still reach their goals with also the result of the cost savings achieved through the organization review, so cutting like 20% of their employees as we spoke about in the previous video. The board expects Frontier to at least break even in fiscal year 25 through the ongoing performance of the existing portfolio of games, revenue contributors from future releases, including the creative management simulation game scheduled for fiscal year 25, 
and the 20% operation cost reduction. Frontier continues to be well capitalized with a cash balance at October 31 in this year of 20.5 million. That cash figure excludes the fee from Microsoft for F1 Manager 2023, entering the Game Pass subscription service during October. And then here's some information about the board changes with Johnny Watts saying, I'm pleased to confirm a third creative management simulation game on our development roadmap. I'm confident that our renewed focus on creative management simulation games will return Frontier back to the, the profitability, deliver stimulating games to our players and provide rewarding opportunities for our people. I'd like to thank our people and our shareholders for their patience and support as we go through a challenging period of change. So yeah, definitely some very exciting stuff on the tables here, like the recreative management simulation games. We already spoke about a few games in the previous video that we uploaded, what kind of social media account Frontier has, what kind of names they secured in the IPOEU, what website domains they own right now. So those are the potential planet games that are on the table, I think. So I definitely recommend to watch that video as well. Like that could still happen. We could still see two new planet games, but potentially this could also mean that one of the three games that are announced here now is for example, Jurassic World Evolution 3. Or how likely will it be that it will be a completely different game than the Jurassic or the Planet franchise, like that they would all three be different? I actually doubt that, but it could definitely be that there will be one or maybe two games that are not exactly related to these type of games, but still fit in the creative management simulation game genre. So definitely a super interesting business update if you ask me. Is Planet Coaster 2 still on the table? Is a Planet Zoo 2 on the table? Uh, I'm not entirely sure about Planet Zoo 2. I just really hope that this business update again shows us that they will continue development for much longer for Planet Zoo. I think many of us agree if they give us flying birds and full aquatic animals for Planet Zoo, no one needs a Planet Zoo 2. I don't really understand why people ask for Planet Zoo 2 if they can just extend on Planet Zoo 1. I think it's a fantastic game. The only thing that we're missing are flying birds, aviaries, and full aquatic animals, which I really don't feel like is a far fetch. And I really just hope that with their chains of focusing more on the creative management simulation games, that this is what they're going to do. They're going to listen to the player base and they're going to extend on Planet Zoo and they're going to give us what the players really want. I think many people will be just so pissed if in three years time they will be launching a Planet Zoo 2. Then for the sake of having flying birds and full aquatic animals in it, wow, I think we all agree that Planet Zoo 1 is just fantastic and could have these updates. So I just really hope that Frontier is making the right call here, but time will definitely tell. I really don't know. I, I, I do dare to say, at least for the coming few months still, I don't believe that Planet Zoo will end. I think that is pretty clear. It could be that when they launch their newest planet game or creative management simulation game, that could mean still the end of Planet Zoo. But this business update does give me a little bit more confidence that it may be continued. But for them, it could also still be that then the Planet Zoo console releases will be the continued support for Planet Zoo, even though Planet Zoo on PC will not be getting any more new updates. But I don't think that the new creative management simulation game, will, the one of the three will be a Planet Zoo on consoles. So it's still going to be a completely new game if you if you guys understand what I mean. Oh my gosh, there's just so much to think about here and I really hope that I covered it all and I, I just really would love to hear your thoughts as well in the comments down below. What do you guys think is going to happen with Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution 2? And what are your expectations for the future creative management simulation games? As I said, highly recommend you guys to watch my other video about the two planet games. Like it's not like that I'm made up everything like there is actual information in there of social media accounts and domains owned by Frontier so definitely go watch that video if you want to join the discussion of what 
future planet games could be on the table here. I really enjoyed making that video as well. So I just really hope you guys enjoyed it as well as much as I did. Yeah, I, I just really look forward to reading all your thoughts about this business update as well. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.